Hello everyone and welcome to another Wild Gold Farm. Today I'm on my Shaman, which is my Herbalism and Miner. And today we're going to go gathering materials in Deep Home. Let's see how much we can make in one hour of farming. Let's do this. So first thing that you want to do is you want to fly over to the portal to Deep Home in your main city. In Ogremar. it is in the Valley of Wisdom, the Western Earthen Shrine, right up here. And in Stormwind, I believe it's a little bit north of the Trade District. So you just want to find the portal to Deep Home. Take that over there. Now I'm going to list the add-ons that I'm using right now and the main add-on that I'm using. So if you go to interface, add-ons, gather mate 2. I'm using gather mate 2 and I'm using map cords. So within gather mate 2, if you go to this import right here and you select herbalism mining and import gather mate 2 data, you want to keep everything else blank. Gather Mate 2 data has been imported, okay. When you first download the add-on, you're not gonna have any data on your map, but once you import it, you're gonna be getting all the data from players who um, share their data with Gather Mate. That way you can see where all the concentrated locations are for gathering. Next, I'm gonna go over the route that we're gonna take. Okay, so this website I use a lot. It's called wow-professions.com and they have a farming guide. They show the routes of all the old expansions, current expansions, anything that you want to farm, you can look up the most popular routes on this website. I will leave a link for that down in the description below so you can check it out. Okay, so I'm on this website and I'm going to scroll down to herbs and today we're farming cinder bloom so cinder bloom you can either farm in mountain hydral or deep home today i chose deep home because there are a lot of the deep home in my opinion is the most concentrated lo um the most concentrated map for cataclysm herbs when it comes to farming cinder bloom and heart blossom so the route that we're going to do today is going to be right here. Feel free to pause the video, take a screenshot, you know, save this video for future reference if you want to continue to do this farm. Before I start, I want, just wanted to say that I know there are other add-ons out there that some other YouTubers use. I believe one of them is worth it and worth it actually puts the the route on the best route on the map for you for farming i haven't set that up yet but if anyone has any other suggestions on an add-on that they use i would love to hear it in the description down below also if you haven't done so already please give this video a thumbs up and i'd love for you to subscribe in order to catch more videos like this one let's get into the farming so other materials that would make this a lot easier for you would be the Dark Moon Fire Water. This is um, a flask or a potion that allows you to get faster gathering of resources and slightly increases your size for one hour. Um, it works for mining, skinning, and herbalism. As far as I know, I've only used it for mining and herbalism. It seems to work really well. This increases the amount of, reduces the amount of time it takes you to collect an herb or um, a mining node. But if you already have a Torin, um, then you can actually um, gather herbs a lot quicker because they have a racial passive. I have not yet tried the Dark Moon Firewater on top of being a Torin. I'm sure it's like lightning fast. But for right now, I'm going to be using my Maghar Orc Shaman. And they have a racial passive that increases their mount speed by 10%. So it doesn't say ground mount, it just says mounted speed. And I have 310 speed. I'm using a sky golem so I can gather herbs 
without having to dismount. Unfortunately, in Cataclysm, I don't believe there is uh, a tool that allows you to um, gather or <clears throat> with without dismounting. So we're just going to have to dismount when we collect some ores. So I've heard a lot of other people say that you could easily get um, a good haul just from going around in this circle or and then going around the outer circle. Personally, I've tried this already, but the first recording uh, wasn't good. So now I'm recording it again. Um, I found that if you start over here, you just fly straight, go around, and then follow the path right here. You are able to get a bunch of ores. Um, just look at the deep home map on the WoW Professions link down in the description if you're confused. Okay. You do enter and then slash timer. Your timer will come up. Let's get going. So I'm going to speed up the first loop and then I'm going to fast forward the video and come back after we've done our first first round together. And we are back where we started. I'll be back when the hour is up and we'll tally everything up and I'll give my final thoughts. Okay, our hour is up and we're back from the farm. Back in Ogremar, and I'm just going over how much each item costs. Um, but before I go into that, I wanted to say that if you want to maximize your gold per hour, I suggest bringing a character that has both mining and herbalism. I suggest buying the Dark Moon Fire Waters off the auction house and being very patient. My herbs and ores sold faster than the volatiles did, but my volatile lice has still not sold and it's been two weeks. Uh, maybe I need to repost to run cancel scans more often, but hopefully you will have better luck than me selling the lifes because my realm is very competitive when it comes to volatile lice. I don't know about you all, but I also get bored farming the same area more than an hour. So if you're like me, I suggest having a nice assortment of different herbs on the auction house from every other expansion as well. This also is good for selling in volume. You will end up seeing a lot more gold come into your mailbox regu regularly rather than waiting five days for your cinder bloom to sell. For me, seeing daily sales in the inbox keeps me motivated and keep on farming in order to see maximize my profit and my gold per hour potential. So with that being said, let's get into the spreadsheet that I made in order to go over the totals of our farm. Okay, so I've sorted this spreadsheet out in two different columns essentially. One are all the materials that we've gained. We have the quantity, the price, and the totals. And then we have the total sum and the total profit. So the total profit is the total sum of all of our materials minus the expenses. So in this case, for this farm, a one hour deep home farm, we only have one expense right now. And so that is the dark moon fire water, which I suggested earlier. And in my, my realm, it's gonna be 96 gold. Keep in mind, this spreadsheet is all of the prices on my realm. This might change on your own. If you want to add, like, for example, uh, a golem, a harvesting golem to this expense column, then they usually go for 30,000. So this total sum 
is of all these materials within one hour of farming in deep home we have nine volatile earth at a price of 950 coming out to be a total of 8550 we have volatile fire i only got three of those and that came out to be 208 gold the volatile lifes has the most is 173 and right now they're going for only 12 gold this usually fluctuates a few days ago on my realm they were going for 35 gold so i suggest waiting until they go up on your realm in order to sell i was even tempted to take this out of the calculation for the total gold per hour but since we're going for 100 percent here i kept it in um, volatile water i only got four this uh, this farm so that comes out to be 115 gold for four now we get into the real money here and that's the heart blossom i got 318 heart blossom it's like wildfire in deep home there's so many of them and the price on my realm is currently going for 30 gold a piece so the total is 9540 just for the heart blossom alone cinder bloom i gathered 114 and they're only going for 10 gold a piece but the total is going to be 1140 obsidian ore 89 elementium 82 so the total would be after our expenses of the dark moon fire water would be 15240 and 78 silver in order to afford the harvesting golem doing this farm specifically I would recommend doing it three for three hours because essentially you're not going to be making 15,000 gold and sorry guys I didn't go with uh, and farm this route with a regular mount so you can compare how much you know you can make without the fire water and without the harvesting golem but I'm curious to, to know how much money you can make with no harvesting golem and no fire water so please let me know in the comments down below well I really hope you enjoyed this farm. I plan on going through other herb and ore farms in the old world zones. So please subscribe and hit that like button. I'd love to see you in the discord so we can chat about different farms that you've come up with as well. Thank you so much and have a great day.